Hey everybody, so I was here at Kettle Art Gallery uh, earlier this week for the official art drop-off for iTunes. And today we're here at the exhibit uh, to shoot some photos and take a gander at uh, some art done by local musicians and done by uh, professional artists who work in the vein of music. So let's take a gander. people who are creative in one way, they're creative in a different mode that either they don't normally get to express or it's not something they've never expressed themselves in that way. It's a different show uh, and it's a, it's a different type of people, it's a different group of people and a different list of people that are in here than usually. So it's nice, you know, but uh, the art scene's fun. I mean, you come out and look at great stuff and hang out with some of the friendliest people you ever meet. I'm here with uh, artist Kate Booth um, in the what appears to be the storage shed of Kettle Art Gallery. This is where I'm stored. <laughs> this, this is where this is where Kate Booth is, is currently being stored, um, along with the uh, a, a well-known uh, music venue in, in Grand Prairie. Is that correct, Kate? Yeah, it's, now it's Ryzen. I was painting for them for about nine years and played in ballroom. Kurt club since '98. Uh, did a few out at Pizza Hut Park and a bunch in Sprint Center, Kansas City. Being around Frank and uh, the musicians has sort of just put me in a position that when people look for somebody to paint the bands, I was standing right there at the bar and they said, hey, Cave, you're a painter. Why don't you uh, paint this picture of Hackfish for us on uh, grand opening? Uh, I'm not much of a portrait painter. And I cranked one out and evidently I was. What do you think is uh, so important about doing a show like this where we're involving uh, visual artists and uh, musicians who are kind of out of their element uh, right. in, in this respect. How, why do you think that's so important? Well, for for me personally, it's nice to have art somewhere where it's not backstage or in a club you have to pay to get in. But for them, uh, you know, the old adage that every every uh, artist wants to be a musician and every musician wants to be a comic or an actor or, or whatever. Uh, it's nice to see. People who are doing art, that you know, their forte is doing music, so they've kind of put all their energy into promoting that. And some of them are hidden gems. People really can write and uh, paint and do some stuff that isn't musical. That uh, if given the opportunity to be invited, they will they'll, they'll show it. Like I didn't even know that my graphic did artwork, yeah. <laughs> and I've known him for years. Like, oh yeah, he doesn't show it much. I'm like, well, I'm glad that he's showing it tonight. And uh, looking down the list, you know, most of the people I realized did art but had never seen it. So it's an opportunity for me and everyone else to see it. It's I'm here with uh, Dallas photographer, photographer extraordinaire, uh, Jason Janik. Um, Jason, how are you involved in this show? And, and how are you involved in the, the Dallas music and art scene? Well, I'm involved in the show, uh, number one, because I know Frank and he was like, you know, we've got this show going on and we'd really like you to be a part of it. But I think his, his thing is that he wanted to really have musicians and the people around the musicians 
Um, so that's why you've got people like uh, Cave, you know, who paint a lot of music. You've got people like me who shoot a lot of music, or James Bland who shot a lot of music. Um, I was glad that Frank asked me because I think it's a fun show and there's a lot of really neat pieces in it. Someone to cool me down. I a kid, Milton. I just think there's an awful lot of incredible talent in the city, period, across the board, in, in both cases, so, you know, it just makes sense. Yeah.